Hello everybody, Mr Facto to me. I'm just doing a little update and progress report on my uh, steam lo loco that I'm making from scratch. I've took a couple of days off um, and had a few hours each day making this stand and I just thought I'd show you this for anybody that might be interested. <coughs> it's a big help because it saves you having to manhandle the frame around your workbench. And uh, move all you keep moving your tools to move to move frame and I've not got nothing special for this so you don't have to you don't have to go at any great expense just just use what's lying around your workshop or your shed or wherever I found this metal shelf in my shed which I'm, I've not been using it's off of a rack so I've used a metal shelf for the base and because that metal shelf were a bit, um, when you twisted it edgeways, it, it, it twisted a little bit. It was quite easy to twist. So I had a bit of plywood lying around and I've just made a frame to go around this shelf. <coughs> Screwed it all together. And then I had this chipboard shelf I was throwing away. And I've just dropped everything onto that and, and screwed it onto that. And then for ends, I, I've used a couple of bits of hardwood. It don't have to be hardwood, it can be anything you've got lying around. I've rounded edges off so that, you know, corners don't stick out and uh, you keep catching corners. And then from the top, about an inch down, I've drilled an hole to take an M12 bolt three inch long same on both ends and then on that bolt I've welded a piece of flat bar quarter thick by one inch wide and that just nicely fits through the um, coupling slot on my buffer beams and then where my coupling will fit on my stretches at each end where the hole is I've just bolted these plates through that hole and it and it holds it nice and secure and then I've put a couple of M12 nuts on so that when you're in position you can just lock that nut off and it keeps it sturdy and in position while you're working on it so I just thought I'd show you that anyway you don't don't go to any great expense just use items that's lying around your workshop so <clears throat> now I've got me um, my stand made I've just been checking my horn guides to make sure that everything's everything's lined up and uh, parallel so don't forget this this is a beginner's loco like I've mentioned in my past videos and um, we've not I've not been able to use a uh, my milling machine to skim across the faces of the horn guides to get them parallel I've done it all like the book says with a straight edge and a square and by getting a straight edge across the faces clamping everything up with the jack in between and then marking my holes off and drilling my holes and then fitting my horn guides and uh, what you're looking for when you've got your own guides fitted is to make sure that when you put a straight edge on all the horn guides that's protruding through your frame that there's no rocking they, they all need to be in line and then you can also eyeball the gap on each end of your frame with your straight edge to make sure everything's running parallel and that's what you're aiming for and uh, same on both sides I've got everything uh, everything's running parallel and in line and no rocking so I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with that <coughs> and while I was uh, while I was checking everything I've got my 3 to 4 micrometer out and I've just gone across the outside faces of the horn guides at the bottom and at the top on each one 
and uh, I'm, I'm within three or four thousandths of an inch and I'm quite happy with that so uh, that's it then uh, that's my update c completed and uh, I think what I'm going to do next is make a start on my uh, axle boxers I've got to cut this cast iron up to make them axle boxers next and yeah it's been a big help that anyway uh, if you've not seen me making this from scratch and from a beginner's perspective because I'm a beginner at this game uh, take a look back at my videos and uh, I've made my boiler from scratch you can take a look back at them if, you, if you're interested and I'll catch you on my next video then so bye for now then thanks for watching